Hello mga kawamat, in this video lesson, we will continue our review for second quarter exam in pre-calculus. So, convert 8 radian to degrees. So, paano tayo nagko-convert ng radian to degrees? So, 8 pi is equal to, at multiply to 180 times pi. So, ito mga cancel to. So, 8 times 180. So, uh, calculator nyo lang, times 8. 180 times 8, the answer is 1,440 degrees. And that is letter A. So, letter A ang sagot natin. Next, what is the re uh, reference angle of 5 pi over 6? So, we all know naman na yung 5 pi, kailangan i-convert muna natin yan. So, 5 pi over 6 is equal to 5 times 180 over 6 equals. So, using your calculator, that is... 150 degrees. So, si 150 degrees ay makikita natin sa quadrant 2. So, para makuha natin yung uh, reference angle nito, sa quadrant 2, ang ginagawa, we're going to uh, subtract yung given natin from 180. So, 180 minus 150, so the answer is 30 degrees. So, alin kayo yung 30 degrees dito? So, ang 30 degrees, so isa-isa natin na yung pi over 3, 180 Divide 3, that is 60 degrees. 1 a, uh, pi divide 6 or 180 divide 6, this is 30 degrees. So therefore, the correct answer is letter C. Next, what is the exact values of cosine 5 pi over 6? So kung may unit circle naman tayo, ang 5 pi over 6 is 5 times 180 divide 6. Or use your calculator. 5 pi over 6 is equivalent to 150. Okay. Gamit yung unit circle, ang 150 natin ay ito. Okay. So, since cosine ang tinatanong, ang cosine is the value of x. So, ito yon. Negative square root of 3 over 2. So, letter B ang sagot. Next, what is the exact value of tangent? So, ang tangent natin, kapag minult Okay, we're going to compute first. 2 times 180 over 3. So, this is 360, negative 300, tama no? Uh, divided by 3. So, the answer is negative. Kasi magiging ano to equals negative 360 divide 3. So, the answer is negative 120. So, si negative 120 saan si negative 120? So, pag ganun tayo, no? Para ikot tayo. Yung negative 2 pi over 3. So, ito ay magiging 30 degrees. 45, 60. So, 90 to. Ito naman ay 120. So, kinukuha natin is negative 120. So, ito. So, since ang tangent is y over x, so, we need to uh, multiply first no? Ay, we need to divide square root of 3 over 2 so yung y natin y over x so ang y natin square root of 3 over 2 divided by negative 1 half so ano mangyayari so negative square root of 2 over 2 times reciprocal nito so ito mga cancel natin so may negative tayo maging positive na lang so the answer is square root of 3 okay so, the tangent, okay, so tingnan ko muna, tangent, negative 2 times 180 over 3. Okay. So, the answer will be negative 2 times 180 divide 3. Okay, 2 times 180 divide 3. So, 120. So, the answer is square root of 3. Okay, I think this is the last question. Find two angles, one positive and one negative. So, ang gagawin lang natin, add lang tayo. Add lang tayo, no? Okay, 75 degree plus 360. 
and 75 degree minus 360. So 75 plus 360, the answer is 435. And then 75 minus 360, the answer is negative 285. So therefore, the correct answer is letter C.